In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace these boring, spindly looking little metal columns with some simple box columns you can make with dimensional lumber from the hardware store. Let's get started. To start things off, here's a look at the front of the house before the project. And the first step was to support underneath that column with a 2x4 and then just remove the column. And I did them one at a time, obviously. If I removed them all, I'd be rat trapped. And uh, that column was just held in with two screws at the top and nothing on the bottom on top of that masonry base. So I took a grinder and I bought a new one just for doing this. I have uh, two of the exact same grinders, but the other one I use for other things, so I wanted two. Um, and I just kind of ground that flat to where the base plate of the column would sit nice and level and make the rest of the project uh, much easier. And that actual base plate that's going to go on top of that masonry post is made out of pressure treated wood since it would have direct contact with the actual cement that makes up the top of that post. And I drilled a hole through that to bolt it to the cement top on that post um, with a little countersink and then the hole goes all the way through. And the bolt that I'm using is one of the ones when you tighten up it pulls like a nut on the bottom and expands metal out into the hole that you have to drill for that bolt to go down into. I believe that one was a half inch bolt so the drill bit was like a 5 8 drill bit and you just tighten it up and that's all I did to attach it to the actual post. For the most part it's just weight coming straight down and you're not going to break a, po uh, a bolt that much anyway and plus two tiny wood screws was holding what had it on there before so just went with that. For making the actual columns I'm using 2x8 material and they were just used as is. I did not rip them down any and then for the sides of the column I used 2x6 and had to rip that down to I believe about 4 and a 16th or something. Basically you're just making the columns square so you rip the side pieces down to whatever dimension um, you need to where the column ends out ends up square whether you're making 2x6 um, 6 inch uh, box columns or 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, just whatever size lumber you're using. And you can see this is the inside of the column and the reason that I didn't assemble these beforehand on the ground and just put them up is because these blocks, I call it my registry key, that's what keeps the actual column in place and not shifting off. And I couldn't assemble it and stick it up on to and over that little block. Um, if I pre-made them on the ground, I wouldn't be able to jack the porch up high enough without breaking something. So I um, assembled them right in place and one at a time. And all the holes to... Uh, Put these together with screws were all pre-drilled, countersunk, and using a drill and then a driver, um, impact driver, to put everything together. And for the rest of the columns, I had some significant repair. You can see there I had to replace all that and then box in some soffit and fascia boards. Um, and in general, this was a pretty simple project. You just got to be kind of careful and make sure things are stay square. It's kind of easy to have something get off square when you're up close and then you back off. You see how crooked it is. Um, so you just got to be careful while you're working. And that's all the columns done. And then on the side porch I did the same thing, but it was a full length column to support the corner of the roof on that little side porch you can see there. And to the left you can see the corner boards I repaired on the house also. There's a close up of that. This house had some sort of fake brick siding on it before and when I took that off they had removed the corner boards where it was once the lap siding as you can see now which is all going to be repaired and painted so you saw the before and then there's the after so much improved and still a long ways to go so this house is going to be quite nice in the end and if you enjoyed this video click the red subscribe button on the screen now and you'll get updates when i post my future videos if you enjoyed this video today, you can also visit me on my other two YouTube channels. The first one is The Homestead Craftsman, and it's just all about being a craftsman, being self-reliant, a lot of woodworking and other cool videos on that channel, so be sure to check that out. And the second channel I have is called Square Inch, where I'm building a tiny house on wheels. So uh, you can see the link for those channels in the description under this video. Thanks for watching.